Okay, hello to the part four, and uh, we're gonna start modeling the car. And uh, okay, let's begin. So create this. Uh, create a tube, I believe. Yeah. Create a tube and just um, get it something like that. Doesn't matter. Uh, height segments. Just click one. Right click. Convert to edible poly. Just delete one side. Align this. Just control X to get into X ray mode and uh, just try to align them. Now there's a lot of ways to model the car, a lot of beginnings and ends. I just showing the my my way there's virtually thousands and thousands of ways how you can model a car, just this is just my way, the way I do it. So so just just try to align them as much as you can. The uh, click J to switch off the selection brackets. Gonna help you a lot when you get to a little bit more detail. Uh, sorry, that should be okay. So select the whole object. Wait, just let's go to the top view a little bit. Just make sure that it should be quite straight. Yeah, it is. So let's just try to align this a little bit so I just drag this in front select the top three and just drag them out a little bit and uh, select this drag it out drag it in just drag it in bit at a bit at the time. The, yeah that should be okay so select the whole object hold shift and drag the element okay and uh, just do the same for the back just try to just align it and I'll just do something like that on, it, on here just something like that just a little bit rough shape, but that's gonna be fine. Uh, just keep this, cause as if we add a little bit more resolution, we're gonna fix that. And uh, now let's go to the back, see what's going on. Oh, you see? Let's just straighten that out a little bit. Um. yeah so just slowly a little bit at a time no way to rush and uh i'm just gonna be doing very basic i really don't want to extend that too much so i will gonna make quite a lot of mistakes over this video just don't blame me blame the youtube so bring that in just try to align it and uh, now select the uh, edges and uh, just select these three edges right here and uh, just do a bridge let's just keep it simple for now okay and uh, let's just save the video not video but uh, file and uh, now let's begin getting the basic shape for the front bumper and just move that back a little bit and uh, just go to the top view just hold shift and drag to extend them yeah that's good doesn't look good now but we're gonna fix that So just grab these vertices, just drag them out a little bit. Okay. And uh, I want to make this tutorial as detailed as possible, so if you have any questions, just PM me. I'll answer it if I can. 
Uh, yeah, just grab these vertices, just move them in just a little bit so we could see a separation. That's okay. Save it. And, um, let's make a cut right here. So, select all of these, connect, and slide them out. Okay. There, just grab this vertice and just drag it like that. Just try to make the shape by the doors. Okay. Just keep it like that. Um, no, 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 no. What did you do? Okay. Select these. I don't know. These three vertices. Just drag them up. Oh, do not select by vertex. Because after that, it's gonna mess up everything. So, just align that uh, bonnet. And uh, just drag them out like that. Okay, as now as you can see, it looks bad, but we're gonna add some resolution later on and we're gonna fix that. So, don't worry about that. Um, let's do that. Let's take these two to grab them on and just vertex target weld. Just weld them together. If I'm a little bit too fast at any point, just pause it. I hope you know how to do that. Uh, just move that back a little bit. Select these two vertices we just created and just drag them out, drag this back a little bit, just use your all the three viewports to actually try to navigate around, just do your best, uh, now, it's not gonna work doesn't it, yeah let's do that, rig it, connect, zero, Do that, just get a little bit rounder out, make it a little bit rounder, and uh, grab these two. Just hold, sh hold shift, okay, something like that, and uh, just uh, try to get to the light and just uh, do that, something like that, and, uh, where the bottom one is. Do something like that after that, there's not enough space, so rig it, connect, okay, and uh, just move it out a little bit. So just go target weld, and uh, modeling a car is actually quite quite difficult. It took me a few months to actually learn to go into the videos, but I never found a video which actually explained slowly step by step how to model a whole car so I hope I will be able to do that in this video series so just grab this vertex and just try to get around the light just doesn't have to be perfect really cause as I said it's gonna be de quite a lot of detail coming in just move it down and use these images only as a reference don't try to be exactly the same and I uh, already see a little problem here so click on polygon scroll down click create and just uh, do that yeah that fixed it select around all the four vertices and it's gonna give you this thing Triangle's actually a bad thing, but I don't really think that's gonna matter too much for us. Uh, that's alright, so just save it. And that's very basic shape, and uh, I just don't know how long this video gonna be, so... Trying to keep it as short as I can, but I can't promise nothing. I don't know, just extend something like that, just move it back. Take its fit, see, just move it back. Select all the polygons and just move them up. Something like that. Uh, use your side view to actually 
move them down as much as you need because that will gonna represent the side how your bonnet will be so just try to get it nice and round that's gonna, that's gonna be alright yeah it's gonna be fine uh, now already see the problem we need much more resolution so just rig it connect and make about three connections and just try to move them up select all of them of course and just move them up slowly one by one yeah maybe that just a little bit more okay and uh, what you want to do now is just uh, take these and just drag them out by by the actually no then do it by the front to keep it a little bit of distance so just do it do it a few centimeters from it just do it something like that yeah just keep it like that now select these vertices these two vertices and just uh, yeah just drag them down and, uh, just, I don't know, just drag this one somewhere about like here just drag it in to get the shape of the light and uh, just align it Okay, that's that looks right. Um, let's go in here and just let's move this up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. And uh, we have a little triangle here which we can actually fill it in. So you the same technique, create and uh, just go around. Now normally you don't wanna use triangles too much but it doesn't really matter because of the time the time limit I have I can't spend too much time on it so just do that just move it down uh, let me think alright so let's do that extend this target weld and uh, if you're able to follow this good if you are unable to follow me then uh, you need to get into a little bit more basic stuff maybe how to model a break disc or something or just go to my rim tutorial I don't I don't say nothing in a tutorial but it should be quite useful for beginners just move it down a little bit okay Okay, we got something at least something looks kind of similar. Uh do one. Just do something like that. Alright, that looks right. And uh just save that. Save. And uh, let's move over to the side, and we're gonna be just this is gonna be just a basic, and after that we're gonna be going over again and adding much more detail to it. So, yeah, let's continue. 